Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sana Lebrek. In line with the directives of the Government Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Health Faiqa Saeed Al Saleh announced the expansion of the Kingdom's national vaccination campaign by increasing the daily vaccination capacity to 31,000 doses. The Minister added that the national vaccination campaign has requested 4.5 million doses of all types of approved vaccinations to cover 2021 2022 vaccine vaccination and booster requirements and to reflect a patient choice and ensure vaccination rollout targets continue to be met, safeguarding the health of the kingdom's citizens and residents. In this regard, she noted the importance of continuing to adapt the kingdom's strategic COVID-19 plans in line with epidemiological developments. As Saleh emphasized that Bahrain was one of the first countries globally to order vaccinations in August of 2020 and has provided vaccinations free of charge to all at 27 health centers in addition to the vaccination centers at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, King Hamad University Hospital, Sitra Commercial Complex and the BDF Military Hospital ensuring availability and access to all. The minister urged citizens and residents to register for a vaccine and a booster shot via the ministry's website to continue to progress towards population immunity and protection. As Saleh reiterated that all vaccinations approved within Bahrain are safe and effective against the virus and its variant strains, adding that vaccines reduce the severity of symptoms. The minister concluded by emphasizing the importance of continuing to adhere to all precautionary measures, even after being vaccinated to reduce risk of infection, protect others and support national efforts to combat COVID-19. The Ministry of Health calls on everyone to register for and to get their vaccinations and their booster doses, whilst also expressing sincere condolences to the families of the deceased and wishing all those receiving treatment a full and speedy recovery. Vaccinations are considered the best protection against COVID-19 in reducing infection rates and the severity of symptoms and complications that may lead to death. Data shows that those who were unvaccinated accounted for 95% of the total number of deaths in the kingdom due to complications from the virus, which underscores the importance of vaccination in raising the level of immunity and immunization. The ministry expresses a sincere condolences to all the families of those who have died as a result of the impact of the virus, including the families of the 28 people who died today. The ministry also expressed hopes for a full and rapid recovery of all the existing COVID-19 cases receiving treatment. The ministry calls on citizens and residents to adhere to the precautionary measures and register for a vaccination or booster shots to raise the level of immunization and community immunity. The ministry also reiterated the importance of adhering to the standards of social distancing, staying at home except for necessities and limiting gatherings within the same family. The Public Health Directorate at the Ministry of Health in cooperation with the Ministry of Interior has inspected various establishments to ensure their compliance with the precautionary measures to contain the pandemic. The inspected tour included 99 restaurants and coffee shops across the island. The Directorate announced the closing of a restaurant for a week and the penalization of 13 others due to violations of precautionary measures. This was carried out in coordination with the Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions. The Ministry said that procedures have have been carried out as per the Ministerial Law 51 of the year 2020 that regulates such establishments and added that last night's inspections come as part of the efforts to apply the national medical team's decisions on the matter. On a related note, the Environmental Health Department inspected five uh, men's salons, two of which were preemptively closed due to there being a reported case and a lack of adherence to precautionary measures. Women's salons and a health gym were also inspected, one which was closed for the same reason. Upon the directives of the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA's Chief Executive Officer, Nasser Sultan Al Swedi, signed a deal with Stockholm Environment Institute, SEI, to establish a national knowledge platform for the water sector in the kingdom that will be a reference for all information related to water in its various sectors. The platform will contain the decision support system, DSS, that links data studies, complex analytics models, and data analysis tools by all water 
related sectors to support decision makers to make appropriate decisions. It will enable all ministries and government agencies related to the sector to obtain the necessary information and feed it with important data that their projects and initiatives require. An Academy for Sustainable Development was launched by the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, the BIBF, in partnership with the Fitch Learning and the London Institute of Banking and Finance, the LIBF. This initiative is seen as key to helping the kingdom achieve its sustainable development goals and realizing Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. To speak more about this issue, we are joined on the phone by the head of the Banking and Finance at BIBF, Ms. Ziba Askar. Welcome to the news, Ms. Ziba. Hello, hi, thank you for having me. Uh, Ms. Ziba, can you please tell us more about the Academy and how it can contribute to the achieving of goals of sustainable development? Yes, uh, sure. So it's a great pleasure for me to actually share with you uh, BRDF's latest initiative of launching the Sustainable Development Academy. And uh, I will start by giving you a bit of background of the reasons and the importance of launching the Academy. So back in 2015, when the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals were announced, it gave a blueprint to achieve better and more sustainable future for all. And uh, over the last decade, sustainable development has become central focus of governments, organizations, businesses, investors, and it's even part of uh, Bahrain's 2030 vision. We have also noticed that uh, increasing number of organizations have actually started reporting their sustainability practices within their annual reports and forming their internal committees their internal teams, and even appointing consultants to have a closer look at their strategies and better align themselves with the sustainability practices. So um, Bahrain has always been leading and known for the skill and caliber of its human capital, and that is why the IBF as a leader in the field has partnered with uh, LIBF and Fitch Learning to deliver very carefully identified workshops and certification programs that will uh, equip participants with knowledge and competencies that are essential in the field. Now, the programs that are being offered are targeted towards different audiences across the organizational hierarchy. So it could go anywhere from the board level, senior management, um, even the beginners who are just starting their career. And I would also say that uh, anybody that might be even in the university or unemployed and are interested and keen to develop their skills can actually join uh, the programs. In terms of uh, the functionality, the academy covers both the support units, so the operational aspects, as well as the business uh, fronting units within organizations. And uh, the reason behind that is that uh, for companies to adopt and transform their strategies towards more sustainability, they do need to internalize their operation internally. And that's why it's important that their team understands what sustainable development is all about and how they can actually realign themselves. Yes. Thank you very much uh, for taking some time to answer us. And that was the head of the banking and finance at the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance, Ms. Ziba Asker. Thank you for being with us. Gulf Air, the national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain, has affirmed its commitment to the decision of the civil aviation affairs in Bahrain based on the recommendations of the National Medical Task Force for combating the coronavirus regarding suspending entry of passengers coming from the countries on the red list, namely India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and Nepal. On all flights, including those coming from these countries as stopover passengers and whose final destination will not be Bahrain, flights will be restricted to Bahraini citizens and residency visa holders in the kingdom. They must present an approved negative PCR result with a QR code administered within 48 hours from the scheduled departure. All other non-vaccinated passengers arriving into Bahrain as their final destination are subject to quarantine for 10 days at a government-approved facility or at their residence. Gulf Air affirms that it continues to work closely with the relevant authorities in the kingdom to take 
take all precautionary and preventative measures to ensure the safety of citizens and residents in Bahrain and the safety and security of passengers and crew members. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that nearly 890,000 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while over 700,000 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 23,300 with 1,800 recoveries and 2,800 registered new cases and 14 deaths. To 1,016 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,761 are contacts of active cases and 23 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the coronavirus.